Welcome back to Erie News Now at 5. After two terms in office, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is saying goodbye and looking back on his years of public service. From an unprecedented health crisis and criticism over the way his administration handled the COVID-19 pandemic, to historic budget surpluses and universal praise for fiscal responsibility, Wolf's administration can be called anything but dull. An exciting last eight years, and our state Capitol Bureau reporter Brendan Scanlon sat down one-on-one -on -one with the outgoing governor looking back at his time in office. All right, Governor, well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to sit down and sort of recap these past eight years. We really appreciate it. So much that's happened over the last eight years. If you had to summarize your top three proudest accomplishments as governor, what would those top three accomplishments be? There are three broad categories of things that I'm really proud of. The first thing is integrity. Uh, the first thing I did was establish the, the gift ban uh, and had the competitive bidding for legal contracts and a whole lot of other things. So I'm very proud of the, the general honesty and integrity. Second thing is I think we've done some really good things with good investments in making lives better for Pennsylvanians where they live, like in education. Uh, I ran to, to make education funding better, uh, fairer, more adequate for Pennsylvania, and I think I've done that, and uh, reduced the uninsured rate in Pennsylvania to its lowest ever. So those kinds of things, I'm very proud of. The policies that invested in are, uh, have been really good for Pennsylvanians. And the final thing is that I think we've done this in a very competent way, fiscally responsible. So when I got here, we had $230,000 in our budget reserve. We now have $5 billion, and we had a structural budget deficit of 2 to $3 billion each year. Uh, this budget has a $5.3 billion surplus baked into it, and we're running ahead of that as of the end of November. What would you say your single happiest and your single toughest moments would be in the last eight years? Well, toughest, obviously, we went through COVID. I mean, that was, that was really tough, painful for so many people all across the Commonwealth, and it was just tough um, trying to do the right thing. Uh, uh, I didn't want to play politics, wanted to make sure that I was doing the, what I thought was best for the public health, uh, but you just never know. And, and so uh, I tried, and, and that, was, that was tough. Uh, the happiest, you know, moments were, were the, the times when we, you know, got success with, with things like education and you could look, you know, kids in the eye and see that their teachers were actually teaching them with resources that they might not have had a few years ago. Uh, th those were the happy moments. You talk a little bit about sort of um, the pandemic, obviously a major challenge for all of Pennsylvania. When you look at a different shutdowns and lockdowns, the impacts they had on small businesses, especially restaurants, and on mental health in uh, younger adults, teenagers, especially students. Did Pennsylvania go too far with its COVID response? I, I don't think so. I mean, th th that question will be asked and should be asked uh, as to whether, whether we should have done things differently than we did. And I think every state, every country in the world is asking that right, of themselves right now. Um, when you look at, at the performance in terms of w were our health systems overwhelmed, they weren't. Did we actually provide support, like $225 million for the healthcare industry to help them uh, cope with the, the strains of this? You know, uh, those are things that, that I think we, we did right, or the things that we did that or didn't do that we, we could have done. We, we actually had money that got, went into the restaurant industry recognizing the challenges that they, they faced. Was it enough? I, I don't know. Uh, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have gone through the pandemic, but we did, and, and what we had to do is figure out the best way to muddle through with what we had, and, and uh, it was tough on everybody. Is there anything specifically that you think, looking back, could have or maybe should have been done differently? I will be asking myself that for the rest of my life. I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, the the um, the things that we learned, where I learned that I maybe overstepped or made a mistake. Uh, there are plenty of people here to tell me that maybe you shouldn't be doing that or you should do something else. If we made a mistake in a public policy that 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 actually uh, was was harmful in in one area. Uh, tried to find the, the, the resources to actually address that directly. Uh, so I, I, I tried to do this, again, what was best from the balancing the competing needs of a public health crisis and, and the economic consequences of that public health crisis. And, and without playing politics, tried to do the best I could. 
in part two of our one-on-one -on -one sit down with Governor Wolf. We discuss party polarization and finding middle ground with the other side. We also talk about broadband expansion and economic growth in places like Erie and the Northern Tier. All that and much more coming up in part two, but for part one of our one-on-one -on -one sit down with Governor Tom Wolf, I'm Brendan Scanland, Erie News Now.